Hey guys, my name is Tom. In this video, I am going to walk you through the process of graphing some points in three dimensions. So the, to do this well, you begin by constructing a coordinate system, a three-dimensional coordinate system. Of course, you are doing this on paper. So let's take a look. You need an x-axis, a y-axis, and a z-axis. So those are the first steps. Let's take a look. It doesn't matter with which one you begin, as long as you just, I would say, use a ruler and mark things very neatly. There you go. You can call that your z-axis. Okay. You can move the paper away so it doesn't get wasted because it bleeds through. Okay. Then we have this axis is next, and then that axis is next. Okay, so this is our coordinate space. Everything we do, we do relative to the origin where the three number lines meet. Okay, now I've drawn only the positive axes. Now let's draw in the negative axes. Just as x is positive, it can also be negative, and that is back there. And just as y can be positive, it can also be negative. So that is on the left. And just as Z can be positive, it can also be negative. So that's straight down. So this is our coordinate space. Okay. X, Y, Z. Okay. And now we start plotting points within this coordinate space. And you can imagine that this plays a huge role in video games, right? Being able to depict things in three dimensions. Of course, we are doing this in a you know, two-dimensional surface like a piece of paper. So, let's begin. Now, in this space, I would say mark little dots along the axes. And these are known as the coordinate axes. Okay, these are the coordinate axes. So mark spaces, and I use a little dot. Some people use little lines, but the lines can get a little more messy than the dots. So use little dots, as I'm doing here. Here we are. Little dots, little dots, little dots, little dots. Okay? And then do the same thing along the Z, up and down. And again, keep the spacing between the dots uniform, meaning about the same. It doesn't have to be perfect, not a masterpiece, but reasonable. Okay, so this is our coordinate system. Each dot is a number, such as, for example, y equals 1, z equals 1, or x equals 1, or what have you, okay? Now, so this is our coordinate space. Each of these is a coordinate axis. Once you have this, the next step is to plot a point. And these points are what we call ordered triples okay so the phrase is ordered triples okay so it's three three an x a y and a z x y and z this is a three-dimensional point it consists of x y and z okay so let's plot one of these and here it might be helpful you wouldn't do this, I guess, on paper if you're studying because it's time consuming, but I'm teaching, so I will color code things to make them a little more easy to see. Say you are given the point here that is 2, 7, and 4. Okay? 2, 7, and 4. Yes, actually, let me turn. Make that that, and the last one is that, okay? So you've got the point 2, 7, 4. This is your X, this is your Y, and then this is your Z. Okay, so these are the critical pieces of information. Let's mark this point, and the way to do it is this. Imagine you're a little guy, a little dude. You're standing at the origin of the coordinate system. Okay, so you're a little guy, you are trapped in this coordinate system. 
This is what you are going to do to reach this point. Go to along the x axis. So 1, 2 along the x. This is x equals 2, you see? Then you turn and you go 7 along the y axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's roughly. Seven. There you go. That is roughly right there. Okay. Then you reach the point over here. Two, comma, seven, comma, zero. Okay. So this is all you've done so far. You're still on the coordinate plane at the point two seven zero. Okay. Here y is equal to 0, okay, just, this is uh, y equals 7 over here, okay, so y equals 7, x equals 2, z equals 0, I may have said y, I meant z, so z equals 0, and now the last move is to travel 4 straight up, okay, so let's do that right now, and that I will take to be the blue color here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is a bit of an art. Roughly, it's that, okay? Once you reach that point, of course, I suggest you mark it clearly. So, at this point, x is 2, y is 7, and z is 4. So you've reached this location. So one more time, it means the following. You're this little dude, you're going to run over here. Turn at the point here, you're going to run over this way. Stop, climb, four, straight up. Okay? And it brings you to the point 274. There you go. Okay? So this is what's known as the first octant. Within this octant, each of x, y, and z is always positive. Okay, let me straighten that out. There you go. Okay. So, the next step might be you travel to another location from the origin, say, perhaps some point over here. So let's write down another point that has a negative y Okay, so now we'll use one color for the sake of simplicity. Say we have 4, negative 4, and positive 5. So this is another point in three-dimensional space, and we have to graph it. So, mark 4 down the x-axis. Oops. So that goes straight down like this. There's your 4. Okay. So 4 is straight down the x-axis from here to here. Then you're going to go 4 to the left along the y. Okay, so roughly that is 1, 2, 3, 4. It's going to be that right there. Okay. And then 5 straight up. All right, I don't need to bring that up. I don't need that on the screen, okay? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, roughly like this. There we are. Now we can label this point as 4 for x. Y is negative 4, and Z is positive 5. Okay? So this way, then you turn straight over, then you go straight up, and it brings you to the point 4, negative 4, positive 5, as I've done here, okay? So these are a couple examples of plotting points in three-dimensional space. Um... 
coordinate system such as this one divides a three-dimensional space into eight pieces. Each piece is called an octant. Okay? And then <clears throat> each axis is called the coordinate axis. And then the plane, such as the XY plane in the bottom, that is known as a coordinate plane. So for any point in the coordinate plane, for any point in the coordinate plane XY, any point in this plane, okay? Doesn't matter what the point is, any of these points in the coordinate plane, x, y, okay? The x is x, the y is y, but the z is 0, okay? So for example, this point back here, 2, 7, 0. So for any point in the coordinate plane, x is x, y is y, whatever they happen to be, but the z always equals 0 because you are not above nor below the plane. So z equals 0. Okay. So that's it for this one. Thank you for watching and have an absolutely amazing day.